hi everyone so today we'll start we'll understand what is uh, debugging in, uh, in sap system and which is normally you know which is done by what what level has been done by functional consultants so we'll understand these concept first so debugging is basically you know editing the program if you need to edit some table entry some understanding uh, where the error is coming from so you can get into the debugging mode you can see the backend program and how that program is working if you are posting any entry that how the backend program is functioning so it's required in case some errors are triggering or you need to edit some entry so slash h is the transaction code to enter into debugging and we can put breakpoints and then we can analyze the error so we'll try to see that now i'll take a scenario where you know i have to edit a table entry so let's say i'll go to the system and i'll go to table T001 which is for global settings you know where we have company code assignments currency and all so I'll just show you I'll see so here is one company code where you know the chart of account is assigned as PM00 but I want to assign let's say some another chart of account I want to assign let's say some different chart of accounts right so how I will do that and it is a non editable mode it will not system will not allow you to change it so let's say I want to assign some 0000, zero, zero, zero. so what I'll do is I'll put slash h at the top in the transaction code option slash h it's now system will give me a message at the bottom you see debugging switched on I'll enter it again showing a back debugger starting So here the program is showing, I can go to this debugger and I can go to this switch to classical debugger. So now if I need to edit something, so I have to put a breakpoint here, code show. So I'll double click. So in place of show, I'll put edit because I need to edit the entry. I click this and I'll click on F8 now you see the entire table is in change mode so I can change this now and I can save it database record successfully created so now if I show you this table again it will be in the field is different now you see it's zero 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 now normally from the front end you cannot change this entry because there are entries already posted but from the back end or through debugger you can change such entries by putting the breakpoints so but what I will do is I will change it again put it PM00 again right, so if I go back if I execute again still not change so that's how we can we can take help of debugger functionally you know if some ed entry needs to be edited some error needs to be found so we can take help of our web debugger and we can resolve our errors without the but mostly this activity is from you know the technical front but there should be understanding of you know, to the functional consultant how this activity activity has to be done so that was about a web debugging so we have seen debugging why it is required I just changed one activity one table through slash edge going to classifier debugger putting the breakpoints so that's how it was all about debugging thank you